Hi, well today I'm at Brosley and I'm visiting the Clay Pipe Museum and it's actually just a row of repurposed cottages behind me. So anyway, have a look around. They make old clay pipes here, church warden pipes, etc. Well, this pipe works was opened in 1881 and it's quite remarkable really. The owner simply knocked some cottages together to make a factory and then he put a buttle kiln in the backyard and it's all lovely colour brickwork it does look rather lovely anyway the pipe works continued making pipes it had some lean times but it carried on until the factory was abandoned in 1960 and the interior has been left exactly as it was so there's still tools and materials on the workbenches and you can see pipes there, the packing cases for pipes. You can see pipes in different stages of production. I rather liked this wiring. They had a go in the 1950s at um, firing pipes in, a, in an electric kiln. And here it is. It looked absolutely lethal. I don't think it was actually very successful. That's a pile of white china clay. And they used to have to break the clay up, it came up from Devon, and they'd have to break it up and make it into large lumps. They'd then roll the clay into like broad pipe shapes, an old radio there, and they'd lay it out to dry on these trays. And then the next stage would be to use this machine to actually make the bowl of the pipe. So it's all quite a clever, quite a labour intensive process. And you can have all different shapes of bowls and different sizes and they're the heads for making the bowls. So they'd actually roll out the pipe shapes by hand. They did also use clay moulds and they'd use wire to actually make the, the hole down the centre of the pipe. And the kiln firing, it took a day to heat the kiln, two days, sorry, then a day for the firing and two days for the kiln to cool down. So quite a delicate operation. And you could have eight to 10,000 pipes in there being fired. And of course, you wouldn't want to make a mistake with that. It'd be an awful lot of lost work. Upstairs, there's a very good museum. And they show examples of all the different types of pipes and the moulds for making pipes and the other tools. And we were shown around by a very knowledgeable guide. So it was very interesting. A great um, Hussar's pipe there quite a famous style of pipe and it actually became quite adventurous in all these rather good fun styles as well as pipes that's the famous church warden the long pipes as well as pipes they also made parts for dolls china dolls and that was really to try and keep the trade going but of course the technology is very similar a little display of tobacco tins and then more church warden pipes and these were packed in boxes with chaff so it'd be safe traveling and quite remarkable collection there all packed in a box anyway it was great to look around and really enjoyed the visit well, i hope you enjoyed seeing around the pipe museum i found that really interesting and just happened to pass on the way out this rather good tiled cottage behind me presumably some workshop or perhaps a butcher's rather impressive